Hi, I'm going to show you how to use the Social Warfare plugin and get it all set up and make it work how you want it to work. Um, it's my favorite social media plugin. I know it's a premium plugin, but it is not a lot to pay to have all of the bells and whistles that this plugin has and also to get premium support whenever you have an issue. I believe it's still just $29 a year. The great thing about Social Warfare is it allows you to specifically choose what images you want to use for Pinterest a lot let you choose Facebook um, images you know just using the Yoast plugin will allow you to use the um, to pick your own Facebook images but nothing that I know of allows you to specifically choose the Pinterest without a lot of work so here we go I'm gonna start with when you install social warfare now in order to have all of the features you want like I said you need to um, do the premium and to do the premium you need to register it and to register it you just um, you'll buy it and you actually will add your email that you purchased it in and that registers it so it's great so you go to registration and then once you've done your registration you're going to go to display and in display it is literally what buttons do you want to make sure are available for sharing because that's social warfare is a sharing not a follow most people would know that but I just want to make sure that we're clear about that it's a sharing not a follow and you literally just drag and drop what you want where you want it and you know most people go for the traditional beginning Facebook Twitter Pinterest Google Plus and then you can add what you want I really feel like reddit and stumble upon are platforms that everybody should use so this little funny guy is reddit and this is stumble upon because you don't need to be on those platforms for them to give you a lot of traffic and I once had a post have I almost 2,000 hits in one day because somebody um, shared it on reddit so I don't I think it's something you should not avoid uh, so then you if you want your buttons to show your share count then you would toggle those things on off if you don't and minimum shares so you know you don't want it to say like one share or two shares so you I usually go 25 I think after 25 that's a great number to show shares so I tell it minimum of 25 Twitter cards you always want Twitter cards on that has um, social warfare show an image when you share someone shares it to Twitter it'll pull the image so you want that and then here's your position of your share button so you can choose to have it above and below the content below the content um, none and uh, just above and the way that I usually work it is on posts I do both above and below and um, this one I just had this way I don't actually think that we it matters we're not using portfolio pages home page right now I have none we might decide to put it on there but at the moment I have none those are um, not necessarily something you need because who shares a home page although people sometimes do usually you do then there's this image hover pin button I have to be honest I've had a lot of people have problems with this if you want a hovering pin button if you put your pins in your actual post this has it built in but if you find that you're having any issues with your site at all after doing something like this or a week later or something turn this button off and I'm guessing you will find that that was the issue and then you know if you use Yumly then you know what to do about this I'm not a Yumly person but you can um, set up some Yumly displays which I think is really nice for food bloggers then you go to your styles and this is where you can choose what you want your buttons to look like I always go with flat and fresh but you know if you want something a little bit different I mean there's all these different options for you and um, you know you can be a little bit different and then there's the full color but you can also um, pick a custom color for instance I have one site that she's just all pink all pink all pink so we made all the buttons pink so uh, you can really go for just a very um, simple look and you can change the hover as well so if we did that um, dark gray light gray so you know whatever you decide you can do all kinds of things to change the colors and custom color allows you to put in your own hex numbers and then this is saying for total count so if you like to do the total shares on this post kind of thing then you can choose how many decimal places you want and 
uh, most of the time we have it set to zero, but you never know. I mean, if you're into the thousands, you might want it to say 25.5K. So you can add a decimal and you can choose how the decimal separated, I think, period, because that's the way it's, you know, looks right when you're only saying 25K kind of thing. The alignment. And then here's the floating share buttons. And just so that you understand, here's um, the way their floating share buttons is awesome. Floating share only works when you can't see the regular share. So here's an example of that. So here we placed the regular share buttons. And um, oh, I just made a change. So normal. So these are here, just so you can see an example. This is when you use the floating share as the bottom buttons. So what happens is, see how they stay on the bottom? Obviously, you're seeing that. So uh, they, so when they hit, they're not there, and then they are there. So it's pretty cool. So that's the floating share, um, and that's a really oh. I can tell you why that's happening. I had to make my screen smaller to make the screencast work. So I actually have the floating set on the left side of the page, but what I've done is on mobile, I told it to be on the bottom of the screen. It's reading the size of this page as mobile. I'm gonna open that up a little bit so um, it'll look weird to you because it's gonna be missing, the side is gonna be missing, but just so you can actually see what it looks like, we gotta give it a little bit more. So, um, here you go. All right, I'm just gonna refer, oh, they're there, but you can't see them. So you can kind of see right here in the side that they're popping up, just so you see. And so then when the regular buttons show up, the floaters go away. So it's kind of cool. It's, you know, you're not in your face. So I'm a big fan of the way that works. Okay, so that's the buttons, you know, and you can just mess around with it. And then um, click to tweet. This is awesome thing to have. A lot of people use a click to tweet plugin. Now you can get rid of it and just use the one that's built into social warfare. And then social identity. Obviously, you want to add who you are because it will pick that up. So if you tweet, you want it to say that your Twitter username at the end of the tweet. And then there's a couple of things just to know that this um, can work to keep people from being able to copy your content or to take uh, screenshots. If you add the bit.ly, which I highly, highly recommend, it shortens your URLs for, otherwise Social Warfare uses really long URLs and tweets. So I suggest adding bit.ly. If you don't have an account, you just get one, it's free. And then analytics tracking. So, you know, this just gets into more details. If you wanna um, set this up with your Google Analytics, the different kind of things that you might want, how you might wanna do it. And then share recovery, if you've lost your um, shares and you wanna get them back for whatever reason, changing your URL, changing a permalink structure, caching, and then full content versus excerpts. If your theme doesn't use ex excerpts, then you probably want to use this because this actually helps pull excerpts from your theme if um, it just if you don't have that. A lot most sites have that now built in that they, it uses excerpts. But so really this page is really only necessary because I think everybody should do bit.ly other than that, you know, unless you're really advanced, you don't need to worry about that. Okay, so let's get to what we do when we're using social warfare. So here's a post, it's just a, a demo post. You will see once you set up social warfare that at the very bottom you have a new box and it's the social warfare options. This is super easy, this is all you do. Social Warfare wants you to add a social media image, which is going to be optimized for Facebook, Google, LinkedIn, and also Twitter. I don't know why it doesn't say Twitter, but it is definitely optimized for Twitter also. All you have to do is add your image. And um, I'm just going to upload because I know I have some some places, and I'm going to grab the, um, the right images. So here is a Facebook image. Okay, I'm gonna pull that up. I also put alt text in, so just for SEO purposes, I get rid of the captions if your image has a caption. And then, you know, if this post is about social warfare plugins, then that's the alt text I would use. Select this image. Move this little 
help button is in the way. Okay. All right, so now we have our social media image here. We do the same thing for Pinterest. So you create a Pinterest size. It needs to be the optimal sizes. I have another YouTube video. If you just look at my other videos, you'll see there's another video for um, how to create images using PicMonkey that are the perfect sizes for Facebook and Pinterest and Twitter, etc. So here we go again. Let's just get rid of this caption because some for some um, sites, captions will actually show up. Add my alt text again. So that's, remember, for your um, SEO. And if you... Um, don't know a lot about how to do that. I also have another YouTube video about using the Yoast plugin for SEO and it explains more about SEO. And the most important part of this plugin, more than the social media description, is the Pinterest description. So with Pinterest, you have to remember that Pinterest is working like a search engine now. So you need to make sure that you load it with keywords. And so I would say, um, this really easy tutorial on how to use social warfare for sharing social media Im media images, especially Pinterest sharing. So the reason why I'm doing it like that is what I'm trying to say is load it up with keywords but make it sound natural. And when somebody goes to share, and we'll show you this, I will show you that when someone goes to share, this image and this description will be the one that pops up. So the other thing that you can do, um, I use Yoast mostly for setting up my social media um, descriptions. The way Social Warfare works is it knows everybody uses Yoast, so it always defaults to whatever is entered in Yoast. So you don't really need to do this twice, but I use my description, and so I'm just going to say, like, say this is my description here. I usually put it in um, here, but just since I have it for good measure, I usually put it in here too. Just, you know, you just never know. Um, and the social media title, the only time I go in and change that is when I don't want it to be the same thing as my actual title. And sometimes you don't. Sometimes, so Yoast is pulling it like this. And maybe I just want it to say social warfare demo. So, I mean, you're kind of getting a quick little Yoast lesson too because I, I always change the social media, the Facebook title in Yoast. And then I just copy it and stick it in here too. So now this is it. You've got your little just social media description. So social media description should just be the quickie little snippet you want to show up on Facebook. You have your social media title, which should be the title that you want to show up on anything, Facebook, LinkedIn, Google+. Uh, Twitter, if you want to add a custom tweet, you can add your custom tweet. Otherwise, it's just going to pull the title of the post when somebody tweets it. But if you want it to say something else, then you um, Add what you want it to add. I mean, if you want it to be a little bit more detailed, go for it. And then this just says, like, if you, for whatever reason, you want to turn your buttons off just for this post, you can do it. Okay, so then after we've done this, we're going to um, save this. And I actually have to publish this to make it so that we can see it in action. But since I do not want to um, force a post to publish on this specific site, I'm going to take you to another site really fast. And we're going to look at how it works on that site. And you will see that if we just grab any of these. So on her homepage, the buttons show up. And here, like I said, because I have it small, it's showing up in the bottom as floaters, but when the page is nice and big, it will show up on the side. So say, okay, I love this post. Hmm, that's funny. I don't see any really. Well, there, that's kind of Pinterest friendly. I want to pin this though. So I'm going to pull this in here so you can see it. So it pulls the image I want it to. I set it up to pull this image. It says what I want it to say, and it, um, and it will use that text. And I just and it tell it gives these people the option to pick whatever board they want to pin it to. 
and I don't know if I've actually pinned this yet so I'm just gonna pin that one nope it hasn't pinned and so that was it and then it's the same thing on Facebook it, you know you pull it'll give the, it'll show the image you want it to show this is the image that I chose this is the text I chose and it will share it now to Facebook just like I wanted it to so the great thing about that is that you get to say you get to decide that this is the this is the image you don't you know what if you don't want this to be what shows up for Pinterest that would be very unfortunate because that's not optimized for Pinterest so you want it to pick the size that is optimized for your site because um, obviously Pinterest loves images and if you give it a horizontal 1200 pixel wide horizontal image for Pinterest it's not going to show it to anybody so I don't know if there's any questions if you have any questions about how this worked once again is literally just putting the stuff in here clicking the upload button it even tells you the sizes it wants you to have 1200 by 628 735 by 1102 but it also see how it gives you the ratio some people go for bigger or smaller it's really just about the ratio and um, put in your pin I, the most important part Pinterest description you can do everything else through Yoast and that's and that's it that's how you use it so if there's any questions go ahead and shoot me a message otherwise uh, you can get going okay